it's your girl Kim back with another video. So in today's video, I'm sure you guys can tell by the title, I am going to be testing out the Il Maquillage or Maquillage foundation, however you pronounce that. But before we get into the video, you guys know what I ask. If you like the content that I post, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for post notifications, and if you like the video, just like the video. Also comment down below. You guys know I love engaging with you guys in the comment section. Also, subscribe. Support your girl. I appreciate it. But yeah, let's just get right into it. So I've seen a lot about this foundation on social media. I'm gonna grab my scissors because you know the struggle is real. And by the way, my face is a mess. This is what my face, it's actually gotten better. Um, you guys know I put up my skincare routine. My face has been going through it. You guys know 2019 was a very stressful year for me. I had a loss in the family and stress just does crazy things to your skin. So this is the state of my face. It is recovering, it's a work in progress, it is what it is, we all have flaws, here are mine. But yeah, let's just get right into it. Like I said, I've seen a lot about this foundation on social media and I have been having a hard time finding a foundation that matches my face, if you guys can't tell. Well, I have acne on here too, and scars. Yeah, go me. But yes, so my chest is the lightest part of my body which is a problem for me because anytime I put on foundation, if I have it match my face, then it looks like I'm wearing a mask because my face doesn't match my, my neck. And if I have it match my neck, then people think that I'm trying to be lighter than I am and I'm not. So that's a struggle I've been going through. I have tried out several different foundations. One of the ones, let me turn those notifications off. Sorry about that. One of the foundations I've been wearing every day is the ColourPop No Filter Foundation. Um, and it's it's been working. It's $12, very affordable. And since I have to now wear makeup every day, which I don't like doing to cover up these blemishes that at least look like, my, like myself, um, I figured it was the best way to go because like I said, it's cost effective. And I don't want to really be wearing my expensive foundation every day just to go to work to impress who, nobody. But yeah. So, like I said, I've seen a lot about this foundation, and I want to see what all the hype is about. They actually color match you, which I was a little skeptical about because the shade looked a little bit darker for me. Darker than I would normally pick for myself, but again, you know, they know their foundation and they had you go over different things. So, we will see how well they match me. So, as you guys can tell, I already have my eyeshadow done. I am going to put up a picture up here or here for the inspiration. I saw this girl on Instagram and I was like, you know, I don't normally do color. My cousin Skylar is always telling me that, you know, when you're on social media, you got to do this, you got to do that. I'm more like, you know, at my age, don't judge me, at my age, I'm like, you know, a neutral beat, like real natural looking, but she's like, you got to go all out. So I'm like, you know what, for this foundation, let me do a pop of color, you know, go all out. But yeah, so... The shade, it says on here, woke up like this, flawless base foundation. And it's shade, I'm assuming 215 is the shade. Who knows? Is there paperwork in here? There is. You guys know sometimes I get excited and I miss my paperwork. Let's see, let's see. Yep, the shade is 215. They also recommended a concealer. So I was like, you know what? If I'm going to try it out, might as well try out everything at the same time. So I got the concealer. The receipt said that's shade 145. Now, one thing that I like is that they actually give you 14 days to try it out. So all they charge me... Oh, this looks like my color. Do you guys see that? Um, so all they charge you is shipping, which is $5.99. And they say if you like it after the 14 days, they, you just keep it and they just charge you $70, which is a lot of money for a foundation. Um, when I went to the... What is, who's that foundation by? Too Faced foundation. I was like, ooh, this is cheaper than what I was using before, which is Dior, and it matched me so much better. So we will see how they do. So this is the concealer. <laughs> this, this don't look like my color. <laughs> but we're going to try it out. We're going to see, you know, how they match me. I was like, you know what? Let me let them do their job. This is what they do. Um, I've been on other foundation sites and or makeup sites where they're showing you foundation and they're showing you people who look like you so you can have an idea of what color would work best for you. They didn't do that. They asked a series of questions, which I was okay with. So I'm like, you know, this is their process. Let me just go through with it. The foundation looks like my foundation shade, um, but this concealer, you know, we're going to see, girl. We're going to see. 
So let's just get right into this. So what I will normally do once my eyeshadow and my eyebrows are done, I'll go in and I'll spray some Fix Spray just to add some moisture to my face because as you guys can see, I don't know if you can see, but my face is very dry. Um, so let's just go ahead and spray that. I need all the moisture I can get. And then I rub it in before I apply my foundation. And then that also helps me to rub out the lines above your eyebrows. Um, I've seen some people leaving that line on there to each his own. I don't like the way it looks for me, but if it's working for you, it's working for you. All right, so let's open up this woke up like this. So in the question here, they asked you what kind of finish you like. I went more for like a dewy. I kind of did like an in-between because again, when I talked to my cousin Skylar, she's like, well, you know, your makeup looks natural. People want to see you go like all out. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to go all out for this. So I kind of did something in the middle. So not too matte, but not too dewy, I think. Don't quote me because I forget. But they have this card here and it goes over, um, I guess what you should do. Apply two pumps to your entire face, jaw, and neckline. Blend out with a brush or sponge, not by hand. Wait five minutes for foundation to set before checking the shade. Don't match your neck or your wrists. They're different than your face. This is the fact. You guys can see. Um, finish your face with concealer, blush, and bronzer. Wear for a full week to determine if it's perfect for you. Well, that's not going to happen for your girl because like I said, we'll see how it looks on my face. Um, yeah, I, I don't like wearing makeup every day, but... Uh, <laughs> twisted it it pops right off second foundation of the dead to me my two faces did that same thing to me so they said two pumps we'll see if i need more than two pumps so that's like a lot i feel like the first pump that i did i didn't really get that much so i did two and a half because the first pump nothing really came out so we're gonna go in So it looks a little light, but we're going to see because maybe it's like the foundation that I've heard about where it just will magically blend in. So we'll try it out. We'll give it a shot. You know, as I've been told growing up, 20,000 Frenchmen can't be wrong. So we'll see if everybody says the same thing about this foundation and if it's true. Not too bad. I guess it oxidizes and then blends in. So what I normally do when I'm applying my foundation, if you guys have watched any of my makeup videos in the past, is I will go over, make sure it's spread out because I can get a little bit more done when I use a brush. And then I'll go over and pat it in with a sponge. I've been forgetting to do that lately, probably because I haven't been going out and actually wearing like a full face of beet. Um, but yeah, so then I'll go over it with a sponge just so that it presses into my skin a little bit better. Feels nice and light, which I like. So I'm going to let that sit for the five minutes like they said. Okay, so I'm back. It's been five minutes. Um, I must say what I did was I actually timed it. I gave it the five minutes like they said you should give it the five minutes. I went to my bathroom and I looked in the mirror because I'm using this ring light in my vlog room and sometimes it's a little bit blinding and I don't really, even though I have this mirror here and I have a monitor behind the camera, I don't really get an accurate view of what stuff looks like. So when I went to the mirror and checked it, I love it. I love it like they they got it like they got it and I hope that you guys come to my channel because you know that I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys all the time but I love it I feel like it like it checks all the boxes like when I'm done hopefully we'll see how I feel about this this concealer but this foundation gave me a little bit more faith about this concealer but Hopefully when I apply this concealer it kind of balances everything out but I feel as though it gives me a matte finish but like a skin tone finish in addition to matching my skin tone and no shade to nobody but 
probably right along the lines with ColourPop. ColourPop is a little bit more dewy, but again, as I mentioned to you guys, when I have conversations with my cousin Skylar, we're like, okay, well, you should get something that, you know, looks a little bit more flawless, and I feel like this is giving me a little bit more flawless foundation. So this is not one of the first foundations I've tried on my channel. I have tried the Fenty Pro Filter Foundation, and I found that that was a little bit too mattifying for me, um, in that it, it gave, like, a cakey effect. I'm not getting that with this, like... I really like it. Um, I'll be honest with you, when I saw that $70 price tag, I was like, oh, you know, I'm not gonna pay $70 for this, because you guys know, don't laugh at my little makeup bag here, I'm gonna keep it off camera, but you guys know that I am all about, I don't mind spending my money, but I don't wanna get something that I feel like I didn't pay for, and I definitely don't feel like that now. So unless, let's knock on wood around here somewhere, Unless I have a bad reaction to this, I'm honestly going to keep this foundation. Um, that's just me just being real. I'm probably actually going to go on their website after I'm done filming this video to see if they have any like loose powder. So right now I use the Too Faced setting powder. And that again, I was just trying to find something that matched with my skin tone. But I like this. I really, really like this. This concealer on the other hand. Feels a little loose, so we'll see. My beauty blender has been through some stuff, but you know, I have hope. I didn't have much hope for this foundation when I saw this color, but them offering, you know, giving you a 14 day trial means that they have enough faith in their product to know that you're gonna like it. And I like it, I love it actually. So I'm gonna give this concealer the same five minutes to dry. Well, I'll give it a few minutes. I'm not sure quite yet if I'm going to give it actually five minutes just because I normally like to set my concealer because I don't want it to crease. So we'll see what happens. Not sure how I feel about the concealer just yet, but foundation, definitely a keeper. And I've been trying to revamp like my makeup routine. Now, one thing I don't really like about the concealers, I'm not sure if it's just not buildable or maybe I'm not used to the consistency, but I feel as I'm putting on the concealer and I go over the same area just to make sure that it's even, like I'm taking off the product as I go over it again. I don't really like that. So again, the foundation gave me a lot of hope. So we'll see how this concealer works, but for now, I don't really like the consistency 100%. Um, probably gonna finish the rest of my makeup off camera just cause it'll be a little bit faster and this, the purpose of this video was really just for the foundation. The concealer, even though it's from the same company, is secondary, but you guys get the idea. I don't know if I like the concealer. Definitely like the finish of the concealer, but I don't like the way it applies and I don't like the consistency. But I guess the end product is really what we're going after here. I feel like I just keep picking up all the product. I don't like that. The finish isn't bad. It's just a little harder to work with, in my opinion. All right, so let's give this the same five minutes to dry. So I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I love the fact that it gives me a matte finish. It's not heavy, it's not cakey. Um, I don't like the fact that the concealer I feel is a little bit harder to work with than the foundation, but the finish is exactly what I've been looking for. I feel like I have a matte finish. Um, my face doesn't feel like it's gonna be dried out. Um, it's It just looks, in my opinion, looks really, really natural. Now, I didn't um, apply any setting powder underneath my eyes because I wanted to give the concealer that same five minute time to dry that they recommended for the foundation. It did crease under the eye a bit, but for the most part, I'm gonna keep it. And like I mentioned before, I'm gonna go on their website and I'm gonna see if they have any like setting powder or like a powder that goes over this. Whatever they match me with, I'm gonna go with because their match worked so good. Like, so good. Um, I feel like I say this about every foundation, but I feel like I'm still going to use my Too Faced. That's going to be like my dewy finish. This is going to be like my more of like a matte kind of a flawless finish. So I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup and I'm going to come back and show you guys the finished product. 
stay tuned. So I'm back. I finished the rest of my makeup. Um, my thoughts on this foundation and this concealer are still the same. It's definitely going to be one of my go-to concealer and foundation, just depending on the look that I'm going for. So if I'm going for a more airbrush, kind of a matte finish, then this will definitely be it. But if I'm going for more of a dewy foundation, then I'm going to go with one of the foundations that I have. Also, if you guys would like for me to, you know, record how I got this look, like I said, I saw a picture... I can see something and you know I try to recreate it so I did my best to recreate this look so if you guys like me to film how I got this look for you guys just comment down below if I get enough comments and I'll film a video on it also um, if you guys well not if you guys if I can find the, the link for this wig because I got this wig about two years ago when I was going to a wedding I decided I wanted just like a bob look but I didn't want to spend a lot of money and I actually only paid a hundred dollars for this wig on Amazon like a hundred dollars so um, I'll try to leave a link for that down below, but that pretty much wraps up this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.